our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debtor, as we forgive our debtor. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Grace and truth from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Kingdom greetings from Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina. Joseph Forbes, God Holy Prophet Ambassador. Global Diplomat College Center, Manila, Philippines. Pastor Elvera, Pastor Ambassador. We thank our pastors, those who participate in Global Diplomat College Center. We appreciate you and we thank you for kingdom work. And we thank our viewers who view us on YouTube. The Bible is not a religious book. The Bible is not a book of democracy. The Bible it's not a book of theology, nor a book of ideology, but the Bible is about the King of glory, the kingdom of God, and his royal citizen. In other words, the Bible is the constitution of the kingdom of heaven. It is a legal document. Our session today is Kingdom Citizens, Praise and Worship, Part 1. Kingdom Citizen, Praise and Worship, Part 1. Praise and Worship is the Kingdom of Heaven experience, not a religious celebration. There is difference in the way Christian worship the king. And there is difference in the way kingdom citizen worship 
the king. Christian worship by singing, lifting their hands, worship by dancing and celebration. Matthew 15, 8 and 9. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts is far from me. Are you just going in a one hour service or two hour service, Sunday after Sunday, week after week, with your church celebration? And you call it worship? It is a form. It is a style that you worship in, a form. Lip service. Lip service is just a ritual that you do every Sunday. But your heart is far away from me. They worship me in wing, teaching us doctrine, the commandment of man, of humans, commandment thought. Christian worship is a form, celebration of lip service, but the heart is far from me, God said. Their heart is far from me. Citizens of the kingdom worship the king, the way how citizens of the kingdom worship their king. Jesus, Lord of Lords, Kings of Kings. Romans 12, 1, Romans 12, 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice as a living sacrifice, living spiritual act of worship, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you, so that you may discern what is the good and pleasing and perfect will of God. The word will means purpose, counsel. God will why he made humanity. In beginnings, God created the heaven and earth. Genesis 2, Genesis 7 said, and God formed man out of the dust, out of the ground, and breathed into my nostril the breath of life. Man become a living soul. Man become a living spirit. He become exists. He become alive. The word dust is humus. The word man is spirit. In other words, man is spirit living in a dirt soup or dirt body. He's a hundred percent spirit living in a dirt soup. He had God said, I created you Mankind, for my glory, for my glory, citizens in the kingdom of God, citizens in the kingdom of God must worship God in spirit and in truth. Kingdom of God is within 
within you. It is within you for the kingdom of God. It's not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Jesus made a statement in John 17, 23. He said, I am in, I am in, the, I am in them. And the words are in you and I in me, that they may be one, made complete one. That they may be made complete one. I in them and you in me. I in them and you in me. And that they may be made one. Completely one, so that the world might believe that thou hast sent me. The message of Jesus Christ is a kingdom of heaven in the hearts of men. The message of Jesus is a kingdom of God in the hearts of men. Kingdom citizen, praise and worship. How kingdom citizen worship the king. In Luke 4 and 33, in the same way, therefore, every one of you, I'm talking to you, every one of you, who do not say goodbye, who do not say goodbye to all possession, can't be my disciple, can't be my kingdom citizen. The rich young ruler came to Jesus and said, good master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said, he pointed to the law. He said, all the law I kept from my youth. Jesus said, one thing you lack is go and sell all you have and distribute to the poor. That man went away sorrowful. He went away sorrowful. Because ownership, he possessed ownership of houses, land, and possession. So Jesus made the statement, everyone, made the statement that every one of you who do not say goodbye to possession can be my disciple or kingdom citizen. Possession means Ownership. Possession means occupy a property, land, houses. Kingdom is opposite democracy. In a kingdom, the king owns everything. In democracy, individual private ownership own property, houses, and goods. But in the kingdom, it owned by the king. In other words, Psalms 24, 1, the earth, physical planet we live on is the Lord, L-O-R-D. The word Lord defined as king. It's the king and the fullness the world, the world and everything in it, owned by the king. So you live in democracy, never grow up in the kingdom, never had any experience about the kingdom, all you know is about private ownership. But in the kingdom, 
The king own the property, the land, the house, you, everything in it. He own it. The word Lord means owner. When you come to king, when you come to God the king, and you say, Lord Jesus, I confess, I come to you. Come in my heart and be my Lord. That man shall be saved. And you are under new ownership. For in other words, a kingdom is a government led by a king. A kingdom is a government led by a king. In the kingdom of God, King Jesus is the ownership. He is the Lord of everything. John 17, 10, declare this statement Jesus made. Everything I have is yours. He's talking to his father. Everything that I have is yours. And everything you have is mine. It is God that created the heaven and the earth. And everything they're in. Jesus made the statement, everything you have is mine. And everything I have is yours. The tree that bears record in heaven. Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. It's not Three person in the Godhead. It is one. One. It's not Trinity. It's one. Here are Israel. The Lord our God is one. One Lord. One. One. Father is God. The Son is God. And the Holy Spirit is God which is one, one God. All, everything that the Father have is mine, and everything I have is yours. Jesus command you are the kingdom citizen. Jesus command you as a kingdom citizen. And he say, say goodbye to possession because he called you as a kingdom citizen for community possession. Kingdom is a community. It's a government. And he called you to end that government. Luke 18, 28. Then Peter said, Look, we have left everything to follow you. Giving up your possession, sacrificing your life, giving your life, surrendering all. It's an act of worship. It is worship. You worship God by giving yourself to him. Giving your mind, your body, your spirit, your life, your emotion, your feeings. Everything to God. It's an act of true worship in spirit and in truth. Peter declared to God. Then Peter said, look, we have left everything to follow you. The sacrifice. Christians don't want to sacrifice nothing. All they want is things. All they pursue are things. Land, house, large bank account, luxury, boat yacht, living on the lake, living by the beaches. All the pursuers, this world and things. But in the kingdom, the king owned everything. Peter said we left all. The disciples, 12 disciples, made a sacrifice. They were kingdom citizens. They left all to follow the king.
king. He left all to follow you. So he said unto them, I assure you, there is no one who have left houses, wife, brother, parents, or children because of the kingdom of God who will not receive a hundred times as much as in this present age. Houses, brother, sister, children, are in the age of eternal life, the age of the come eternal life. There's no man who are left all to follow me, he said, will not receive a hundredfold. When you give up your possession, the whole heaven is yours. Everything that heaven has is yours. When you give up your possession, you receive a hundredfold right today in this life and the life to come. You receive heaven, eternal life, eternal life. He's calling you to kingdom community. He's calling you to kingdom to community. The kingdom of God is within you. It is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. It's in kingdom citizen. Righteousness, peace, and joy is in the Holy Ghost in every citizen. Kingdom Citizen, worship the king by giving up everything. See, by giving up everything. Every kingdom citizen, every kingdom citizen, worship the king by giving up everything. By giving up everything. Because God will grant to them, they will receive, they will receive a lot right now today in this life and heaven they will receive heaven acts 2 42 now now all the believers the believers kingdom citizen the disciple all the believers kingdom citizen the disciple all the believers War together. And had all things in common. All the believers were together. And had all things in common. That's commonwealth. Commonwealth belong to the king. All the wealth is common among all the believers. They were together. They sold their possession and property and distribution and the proceed to all and distribute the proceed to all as, as among them to all anyone who had need. He distribute the proceed of the property. The money for the property of the sale were distributed among them. Among them. They were distributed among them. All that had need. Every day. Every day. Worship is a lifestyle. Giving your life to the Lord, your body, your mind, soul, spirit, it's a lifestyle, it's a culture. Not every Sunday you go to church and met to the Bible study for the week or Bible study or prayer meeting. That's ritual. Kingdom citizens meet every day. Every day. Every day. They the vote themselves to the meeting together in the temple complex 
breaking up bread from house to house. Breaking up bread from house to house. They went from house to house breaking bread. From house to house. They eat their food with joyfulness, humbleness, and attitude. Joyfulness, humbleness, and attitude. And having favor with all the people. And every day, the Lord add to them, those shall be saved, rescued. Those that be rescued. The word save mean rescue. In other words, who will translate us from the kingdom of darkness, satanic kingdom, and slavery, under sin and dominion of sin. You've been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. See, Christians have this concept of I'm saved. I'm on my way to heaven. The Bible didn't teach that. The Bible teach you translate it from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. The kingdom of God. Translated in the kingdom of God. Not to go to heaven. In other words, Psalms 115, 16, you are blessed of the Lord. You are blessed of the Lord. The heavens of the heavens are the Lord. Heavens of the heavens are the Lord. But the earth he has given to the children of man. He gave the earth to the children of man. You are blessed by the Lord. The heavens of the heavens are the Lord. But the earth he has given to the children of man. God never give you heaven. Never give you heaven. Never give you religion. But he give you earth. He give you the earth to the children of man. In other words, other words, your kingdom, leadership, dominion over earth resources. God original purpose for mankind. For humanity, for mankind, is kingdom, dominion, rulership over earth resources. You're given a kingdom, given a kingdom, not a religion. Given a kingdom, not a religion. Every day, the Lord adds to them such to be saved, such to be rescued. Save man from, from, from danger, from harm, from evil, from sin. In other words, they deliver us from evil. Time is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Time is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Kingdom attitude. They worship and they serve is to God. And give their finance and their land and the house and their possession with a good attitude. In other words, kingdom attitude is the mindset. Living in the kingdom. Kingdom mindset. Living in the kingdom. Jesus' first inauguration speech was in Matthew 4, 17. Matthew 4, 17. From that time, Jesus began to preach, saying, repent. First thing Jesus mentioned to humanity is their mind. Repent. Change the way you're thinking. Change your mind. Change your mind to kingdom attitude. Change your mind to kingdom attitude, kingdom mindset. Repent for the kingdom of heaven. God have arrived. The kingdom of came. Christians still waiting on the kingdom to come. When the Lord will come. When the kingdom is already here. They postponed the kingdom. 
tell when to die. But the kingdom is now. The religious leaders did not understand that the kingdom was now. And they asked Jesus a question, said, when will the kingdom of God come? She said, the kingdom do not come when they say here is there and low is here. But the kingdom of God is within you. It is invisible king, invisible kingdom. The kingdom of God is within you. Worship with a, with a kingdom attitude, kingdom mindset. Proverbs 23 and 7 say, For us a man think in his heart, so is he. As you think, so is the man. You need a kingdom attitude. Need a kingdom attitude. Positive attitude. Need a kingdom attitude. A positive attitude. Hallelujah. You need a kingdom attitude. Attitude in the kingdom. Attitude in the kingdom are real by this, by expression, one, by expression, two, by being positive, three, by the words, the positive word you speak, by the tune of your words, or by the support you give to the kingdom, and by also the involvement that you involve yourself in the kingdom. That's how you describe and show your positive attitude. That's how it demonstrates. Attitude in the kingdom, that's the way how attitude demonstrates in the kingdom. Attitude is demonstrated in your positive, being positive. Every word of God is positive. Every word that comes out of his mouth is positive. You need a positive attitude. You need to have a positive attitude. In the book of Matthew 5, Matthew 5 give you insight. Go with me on this journey on a positive attitude. Matthew 5 and 3 say the, the poor in spirit are blessed for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. That's positive. The poor in spirit, when you're spiritually bankrupt, when you see yourself in the need of God, when you don't see yourself in high ideology or theology or trap in doctrine, commandment of man, when you see yourself poor in spirit, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Those who mourn are blessed. For there shall there shall be comfort. You may lose a loved one. You may be in sorrow. Moon with sickness. Lost loved one. You might have difficulty. You may have a, a, heart, a broken heart or sorrow. You shall be comfort. The gentle are uh, blessed, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed is the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the meek, that word meek means discipline, positive mind, self-control, for they shall inherit the earth. He didn't say they shall inherit heaven, they shall inherit the earth. God give Abraham he gave Abraham earth. He said, look as far as you can see. All this I give to you on your seed. He blessed them with real estate. For they shall inherit the earth. Those who are hungry and thirst for righteousness are blessed. For they shall be filled. The word righteous means right relationship with the king. Heaven. Right relationship with the king. How's your relationship with the king? How's your relationship with your family? How's your relationship with your children? How's your relationship with your job? Are you have a positive mindset, kingdom mindset, 
Relationship? Are you have a good attitude with your relationship? You need a relationship to righteousness. We hunger and thirst for righteousness, for good relationship. For you shall be filled. The merciful are blessed, for they shall show mercy. The pure in heart are blessed, for they shall see God. Who shall stand in the hills of the Lord? He have a clean hand and pure heart, for they shall see the Lord. Good attitude, pure in heart. Blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called the sons of God. Not Christians, not brother, no sister, but the son of God. John 1 12 said, But as many as receiveth him, the King, Lord, to them give you power, rights to become the sons of God. Every country, every nation have nation sons. America have nation sons. China have nation sons. Japan have nation sons. Philippines, the Bahamas, Trinidad, Barbados, South Korea, North Korea, they have nation sons. The Caribbean or Spanish country, Guatemala, Mexico, Honduras, Costa Rica have, have native sons. That means sons who are born in that nation are called sons of that nation. They are children of that nation. When you're born in the kingdom, you become a kingdom citizen, become sons of the kingdom. Sons of the kingdom have the access, privilege, and rights to everything that nation holds. All the benefits, all the access, resources of that nation. Sons have the rights and privilege to receive it. Sons have the rights to receive it, for they shall be called the sons of God. Blessed is the peacemaker. Word peacemaker means ambassador, ambassador, envoy, diplomat of the kingdom of God. I'm ambassador of the kingdom of God. I was sent and I represent heaven. I'm blessed. All the ambassador. For they shall be called the son of God, not Christian. The word Christian is a nickname given by pagan in the book of Acts. Next name they call the believers Christian to identify them. I am not a Christian. I am a kingdom citizen of the kingdom of God. I'm a word priest. I'm a king and a priest of the kingdom of heaven. Glory to God. Not worse. Bless the peacemaker. They're blessed, but they should be called the sons of God. Those who are persecuted for righteous sake are blessed, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. For the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Those who are Persecute for righteousness sake, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Revelation 1 5. Email. This is an email to you from the kingdom of heaven and from Jesus Christ, the first begotten from the dead, who loves us and washes. In his own blood, washed our sin in his own blood, and made us kings and priests unto God. Our Father made us king and priests unto God. Our Father give you dominion, world power, control, government, kingdom, leadership. You are blessed. You're blessed. 
You are blessed. Book of Acts. The believers sold their land and their possession and distributed among others those there were no lack. No lack. They distributed the land among themselves. There were no lack. No lack. They stopped on poverty. There was no lack. No lack among them. Hallelujah. They were blessed. Acts, Acts of the Apostle tell you about they were blessed. They were blessed. Those believers were blessed. Those kingdom citizens, you are blessed by the Lord, which made the heaven and the earth. The heavens of heavens are the Lord, but the earth he had given to the sons of men. But the earth he had given to the children of men. He never give you a religion, but he give you a kingdom. He never give you a religion, but he give you a kingdom. You are blessed of the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. Blessed from God who made the heaven and the earth. Acts 4. This powerful scripture here, as I read to you, Acts 4 and 32. God calling you into a multitude, calling you out the way from democracy lifestyle. The lifestyle of the world, calling you out. You're in the world, but not of the world. You cannot live by the world lifestyle as a kingdom citizen. Sharing all things, kingdom citizen of all things in common. Acts 4, 32. Now the multitude of those who believe were one heart and one soul. Neither did anyone say that any of the things he possessed was his own. He never take the responsibility of ownership. As a kingdom citizen, you can't say, I love the Lord, I know the Lord, and take in possession of ownership. The kingdom citizen never say that things that they own, they possess what they own. But they had all things common. And with great power, the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. The resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ means that Jesus died to restore kings back to their kingdom. Jesus died to restore kings back to their kingdom. When a king die, when a king die, those heir of the kingdom, prince, will automatically become kings. Adam lost his kingship in the Garden of Eden. He was evicted, and all mankind fall in sin and iniquity. Jesus came to restore and to bring back kings back to the kingdom. Glory to God. Great power the giver of the resurrection of the Lord. And great grace was upon them all. Now there was anyone among them who were lack no poverty. They stopped out poverty. Neither, none of them were, were lack, but they had all things in common. For all who were possessed with land or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of the things that they sold and laid them at the apostles' feet. And distribution were made to everyone that have need. Who are you helping in your church? Members paying rent, light bill, mortgage, in for themselves. They traumatize. When the members get in difficulty, are you 
going in the church offering or treasury and have all things in common. It's your treasury of your church money. It's all things in common. Are you spending more time on building buildings? Fixing roof? Doing more expansion trying to get a larger edifice? Or church? What are you doing? They care for the people, not the building. They had all things in common. They distributed to all that had need. That's kingdom attitude. That's kingdom commonwealth. Had all things in common. And distribution were made and had all things in common. Glory to God. Psalms 145, 1, I will exalt you, O my God. I will exalt you. I will worship you, O my God, O King. And I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you. Worship is a lifestyle in the kingdom. Every day will I bless you. Not just on Sunday. Not just when you call to go to service. Every day will I bless you. Every day will I bless you. And I will praise your name forever. Great is the Lord and great to be praised. And his greatness is unspeakable. One generation shall praise your words to another. I shall declare your mighty act. I will meditate on the glorious splendor of your majesty. And your wonderful works. Men shall speak of the might of your awesome act. And I will declare your greatness. They shall utter the memory of your great goodness. And shall sing Unto your righteousness. I will praise you. I will worship you. Oh God. I will praise you. I will worship you. Psalms 95. Saying come. Come. Come on. I'm talking to you. Come. Come. Wherever you are. Whatever you're doing. Come. Let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy. To the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence. With thanksgiving. Let us shout for joy to him with psalms. For the Lord is great. He's a great king. Great king above all of the kings of the earth. He's a great king above all the kings of the earth. Come, let us worship. Let us bow down before the Lord our maker. Let us worship. Let us bow down before the Lord God our maker. Come, let us worship. Let us bow down before the Lord God, our maker. He is our maker. Let us bow down before the Lord God, our maker. Come, let us bow down and worship before the Lord God, our maker. Let us bow down before the Lord God, our maker. Come on, let us bow down before the Lord God, our maker. Come before the Lord, for he is a great God. He is a good God. He is the God of our maker. Come on, let's bow down before the Lord God, our maker. Let's bow down before the Lord God, our maker. We need to reach out to God, our maker. We need to reach out to God, our maker. We need to reach out to God, our maker. We need to, we need to reach out to God, our maker, for he's a great God. Come, let us bow down before the Lord God, our maker. Let's bow down before the Lord and make Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Oh, we praise him today. We worship his name. Let's raise your hand. Worship his holy name. Hallelujah. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debtor. As we forgive our debtor. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory. Forever and ever. Amen. O righteous Father. I pray for believers. And kingdom citizens everywhere. Oh, I pray that they will worship your holy name. I pray that they will draw nigh to you. They will be hunger and taste after righteousness. Oh God, I pray for America. I pray for every city of America. Oh God, I pray for Europe. I pray for China. I pray for the Philippines. I pray for Russia. I pray for New Zealand. I pray for Africa, the Caribbean, every Spanish nation. I pray for Guatemala. I pray for Honduras. I pray for Mexico. I pray, God, for the nations of the earth. Oh, God, that you want Christ to reconcile the world to yourself. Father, the world do not know you. But we have known you through Jesus Christ. And we come to you, O oh, Holy Father. Bring mankind back to you. Back to your love. Back to your righteousness. Back to your truth. Draw the night to the living God. I magnify. I exalt your name. I bless your name. O oh, Holy, Holy, Holy is our God. I bless your name. Hallelujah. I worship your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray for every senator. I pray for every news reporter. CNN. Fox News. NSBM. Every news. I pray God for Congress. Senate. I pray God for every leader of the government. I pray God for mankind everywhere, every worker, every worker. Lord, I pray the Lord God for law enforcement. I pray Lord God for customs, immigration. I pray the Lord God for all those who serve in every capacity of the government. I pray the Lord God for you too. I pray the Lord God for every media. I pray the Lord God for every family. Every family of the earth. Bring them closer to thee. Schools, college, university. I pray the Lord for every child, every old folk, those who are sick and shedding, those who have cancer, high blood diabetes. Every illness, I rebuke the spirit of cancer. I rebuke the spirit of headache. I rebuke the spirit of pain. I rebuke the spirit of all disease. You send your word today, right now. Heal every disease and every sickness, right now. Those who are suffering through high blood, diabetes. Those who are suffering by cancer. Those who are suffering by every sickness academic. Heal them in Jesus' name. May God bless you. May God bless you. And God bless your family. And God bless the United States of America. To the next session, this is Joseph God, Holy Prophet and Ambassador from Global Diplomat College Center, Greenville, South Carolina.